Right, folks, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're playing Arsenal. A um, couple of games off camera. What am I up to? Uh, Brighton and Hove Albion. Score draw. Rescued it in the 63rd minute. Fantastic. Thought we got off to a good start. Michael Obafemi scoring in the 26th minute. No, 3 1 loss. Alex Awobi and Simon McLaren getting the goals for them. And we continue our poor run of form. The only game. We've won that uh, recently was against Blackpool, Blackburn, should I say. Today we've got Arsenal and West Brom. Hard game against Arsenal, but I will not be playing cautiously at all. We'll be playing attacking, playing for the set pieces, hit your early crosses, play slightly wider. And this is the team. It's a double diamond. We've got Lancashire coming in to play as our striker. Uh, what? Our goalkeeper. Wrong end of the pitch there. And we've got De Silva, Norman Williamson and Sturgio. We've got Delot, Koulibaly, Miller and Halliday. Ferran, Guliano and Obafemi. We've got Neverstick, Huddart, Walker-Peters, Wilson, Lauser, Martinez and Zalud all on the bench. And we're going to get into it. Right, the team is not quite familiar and everything. Oh my goodness, they've got Nicholas Sula. Kieran Tierney's the captain. I'd love to see that one day as an Arsenal fan. He is fantastic. Let's skip this shite. I, I can't see us winning here. Ball back Nabry. Serge Gnabry's... Oh, and Gordon McAllister. Okay. I mean, I'm... I'm not convinced that we're going to win here, so I thought, well, might as well just fuck around, chuck in a few youth prospects, give the team something to try and get familiar with. I suppose changing it up all the time doesn't really help the team get a get a groove on, but got to try something. You never know your luck. If uh, we get a result here, look like a tactical genius. If not, just looks like I'm going to go further, further down. The division, 13th today. As we stand, if it still stands at a nil, nil, it's not the worst result in the world. As we do drop, a, oh, sorry, we do uh, actually gain a, a better position in the league. If that was the case. So, wouldn't be uh, too disappointed with a nil, nil. As Guliano, what a, if he had chipped that and succeeded, what a goal. See if the two diamonds, there's a diamond up front and there's a diamond in midfield. We'll see how any of them go. Oba Femi now. Bangs one in, scores his 12th goal. That was a rocket from Oba Femi. Come on, big man Michael. Ferran got a great assist on that as well. He's right there. Just bang. Oba Femi takes a touch, takes another touch. Rifles it in. Straight past Burn Leno. Oof. Okay, 36 points now. We're going up. We're getting somewhere. What's Halliday going to do? Just going to whip one into Guliano, but no, it's going to fizzle out. Sturgio wants to give it back. I like still going. Fearing into Obafemi, who hits the bar. Could have been two. Could have been two. If we don't finish top ten, I might resign. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of an overreaction, but... The board won't be, I, I might even get sacked at this rate. Like, if the board aren't impressed with the uh, position that we finish in the table, we've already been embarrassed in both the cup competitions. So, yeah, I guess they'll be wanting something, and if we don't finish top ten, we might as well just resign. So Martinelli scores his eighth goal of the season and levels it right before half time. Oh, 
Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll skip this. We don't want to see the goal again. Ugh. Closer to the relegation zone than we are top eight. Top sevens, should I say. Obviously, like last season was really good for for us. But like we obviously came from the championship, but our team in the championship was better was a Premier League side, so I don't understand. Like now the team is even better than it was in the championship, but we're apparently we want to go back to the championship. I don't know what these these players are up to, eh? I don't just want to keep selling them and every time they have a bad performance, it's Obafemi gets another one. Is that an assist from Miller as well? Oh, <laughs> oh wow, David Miller. I've just chucked in some young rando prospect. And he's managed to get a brilliant assist to Obafemi. Fan-bloody-tastic. It's what we like to see. Great from De Silva, though. Miller just hoofs one up and over. What a goal. And this diamond may be the way that we have to continue playing. Lancashire and goal isn't the isn't doing badly. He has conceded, but just to be expected when you shot what is he, 17, 18? Defence has been pretty decent. Sturgeon and Norman Williamson. Gulabali with the interception now. What can Guliano do? He's had a few chances today. He's messed them up. But he messed that one up. But it did lead to a goal. So I will um, I'll not complain about that oh, bad, bad chance, Guliano. <laughs> I mean, I guess it wasn't a bad chance. He just sort of fluffed his lines a bit. And should have finessed it more. But Michael Obafemi's got a hat trick. So he will not be uh, coming off the bench or going up to the bench. Or he might. Get, let someone else have a turn. Brings a lewd on. I think he's on the bench. Or Jose Martinez. We might as well, right? What am I doing? Obafemi off. Jose Martinez can come in. Pepe's going to... Ooh. Great save, Lancashire. We'll get back with Obafemi a rest. He's been a beast for us, so we might as well bring on one of the players that we spent a good 20-plus mil on earlier in the season. Everyone seems to be playing pretty well. No one's too tired. We'll get on Kyle Walker-Peters for lot though. Miller's having a great time at defensive line, deep line playmaker, should I say. Oh, Martinez could have got, what, probably his first goal for the club. Uh, I think it will take off David Miller for uh, Lowser. Come on. Martinez coming back deep. All the way back to pretty much the defence, and Guliano can't quite get there ahead of pop off. But three-one victory over the Gunners. You'd take that. Look, our passing play is so good. It's here we go, Giuliano. Just like Giuliano. His third goal of the season, and that'll do him a world of confidence. Cheeky assist from Giuliano. What a chip, though. Sorry, a cheeky assist from Ferran. He's already got a couple, I think, today. He may have a hat trick of assists. 4 1. Maybe we are back. Maybe.
maybe we are back. Come on, Southampton. I want to get Europa League. I want to show how good we are. I know how, how good this team can be. As Ferran's coming through. Oh, my God, he deserved a goal. The way he's played all game, he's been fantastic today. He deserved a goal at the end of that. We should be five or six up here. Walker Peters gets in. What can he do to Martinez? Ooh, Lauza. Nah, I don't think we're going to get too many more chances. I think maybe we could get five. I'd be pretty stoked with five, to be honest. All right, what do we got? Walker Peters going to give it into Halliday. Giuliano gets a second. It's five. Oh, Giuliano. When you both your strikers are just absolute beasts, Obafemi and Giuliano can play it together now. Now we're starting to see. That's his second double this season. He only has uh, he only has scored a double. One against Manchester City and now one against... Arsenal, so we will keep Giuliano in the uh, first team because he seems to be getting some confidence back, you know, scores a couple of doubles, and you know, oh, I think he get a hat-trick, Halliday, pass it into him, buddy, let's make it six, come on, ha ha ha, and I thought this was going to be a tough game. We've made it look absolutely easy. Oh, Martinez now. Oh, Leno with a good save. Oh, I wish Martinez had scored just to give him a bit of confidence as well. Then maybe we wouldn't have to rely on Obafemi so much. Lowes is going to whip one in. No. Giuliano's not going to be able to get there. Ferran's chasing down Palacios. Good tackle, but it's a free kick. What a fantastic game. 5-1 victory. Obafemi with the hat-trick. Giuliano with his brace. I am absolutely stoked. What a game. Just got back from the match. Did not see that coming. What a result. Where does Giuliano's prints rank among the best you've seen? Unbelievable. That's, we do need to build on momentum now. 100%. Giuliano's just too good. Oh. Young Southampton shine against Arsenal. Indeed. Young Southampton showed that you can win with kids as they come out on top of a much more experienced Arsenal team on a wet afternoon at St. Mary's. Oh, boy, Yes. Doesn't say how, what the age of the the team was. I suppose. Oh, he's caretaker manager. Has he been caretaker manager before? Twenty twenty three. Wonder who they sacked. Who's Arsenal's manager? They sacked Mikel Arteta. I know that, and they had this Casper fella who's also been sacked. So it's. Hmm. Oh, he was literally sacked today. <laughs> he got sacked after um Yeah, well, okay. He got sacked from losing to us. Should we apply for his job? No, I don't think so. You were superb. Finally showing a bit of form. He only cost us 3 mil as well. How good is that? He has played 30 games and only scored 5 goals for the club, though. That's a little worrying. But then again, he's 19 years old. So, why not? Okay, we've got a quite a bit of time between... Uh, this game, so 15 days, so I'll see you in about two weeks. Right, folks, welcome back to another um, 
game. What, what am I trying to say? It feels like it's been ages. It has been ages. I've been getting for two weeks in this game. It does take quite some time. Anyway, here we go. Bottom of the table, West Brom. Playing 30 games. We've played 31. They're on 18 points. We're on 36. We're on 12th. They're 20th. Like, we should be winning this game. We 100% should be winning this game. And, oh my goodness, what is this? No, I didn't I didn't want to do this. No, 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 no. I wanted to keep it as it was. So we need advanced forward. Attacking forward, yes. You go in there, you go back there. That's what we want. Double. Oh, we just want to swap Ferrin and Miller. We want to change Ferrin to a... We want you on a ball winning... Sorry, box to box. And we want you as a deep line playmaker on support if we can, but we actually want to drop you from the team. Sorry, mate. And also, never stick because he's a bit sick. We are going to play Walker Peters. Well, he's not going to make it. Wilson needs to get out. Um, Bears Cues, do we play Bears Cues? I'll chuck him in. I'm gonna chuck uh, this fella in too. I need a I need Staminac. Staminac. Need Lowen on the bench and Dean Garner. I might actually chuck Dean Garner there, despite the fact that that's not where he plays at all. Aaron's gonna come in. Staminic's going to come in and play there. Dean Garner's going to play there, but that's not really where he's good at. But I mean, maybe we could change him there. We could train him there. I'll, I'll start training him there. He's an attacking. An advanced playmaker. We'll do attacking. This player's individual, yeah. Yeah. So, while he's not quite good there, Ferrin will come in for him probably at around half time. Uh, David Miller, you can get on the bench. And that is going to be the team. We've got Lancashire, De Silva, Hadart, Vazquez, Walker Peters, Kulabawi, Staminic, Halliday, Dean Garner, Guliano, and Orbafami. Let's get into the match. We are against West Brom, so um, we are the favourites. I'm not too sure if I've made a mistake taking them lightly with... Uh, well, I wouldn't say really taking them lightly. It's it, it, Yeah, the defence really is that kind of taking them lightly. Midfield is still really good. And then it's just Dean Garner just playing out of position. But that's only because he's complaining that he's not getting any game time. But I don't want to change the formation just to suit Dean Garner when we're playing so well at the moment with this formation. So that's it's, it's a hard decision. Lancashire is starting again. Guliano is going to whip in across as Vazquez almost gets his goal. Yeah, Lancashire was all right, and this will give him a bit more confidence as he learns to play against the sort of the top players, and he'll learn uh, a bit in goal, hopefully. Guliano, he's in a good run of form. Can he score a game? Not not yet, at least. Bit of an average finish there. Hadart needs to get game time because he's going to be, well, hopefully a decent prospect. Well, he is a decent prospect at the moment, but hopefully his potential is going to actually see him become a first-team player for us sometime in the future. Um, yeah, that's... Vazquez is also pretty decent, and I just need to get him a bit more game time, and we'll see how good he becomes in the future too. Obafemi now is just running through the defence as Johnson makes a great save. Not sure why shot it directly at him, but each to their own. Dingana's going to whip in the corner. 
managed to hold it. We've had a few chances, but not a hell of a lot has happened. Wayne Halliday sent him on a leadership course. Because one day I do want him to be captain, despite the fact that he's not home, completely homegrown. We did have to buy him, actually, from Watford. Someone probably like, someone like Pete Huddett, actually, is more than likely captain, eventually. I, will, I want that to happen, although... We do only have a few more seasons here before I have to resign in the fifth season, remember? So, yeah. Oh, but Femi getting 15 goals for the big fella. 15 for Michael. And that's pretty good. I'm a big fan of Robert Femi. What a great decision it was. When we came after we lost Danny Ings, rather than replace Danny Ings on the spot, while we're in the championship, was to bring Obafemi back from his loan, and he's just been in the team ever since. He's been in the team ever since, and he's been fantastic. He scored buckets of goals for us in the championship, and now I don't remember how much he did last season. I know it was pretty much Dean Garner just scored. But I still think he hit double digits. And yeah, now he's hit double digits again. There's no reason why he can't get 20. This is a bit of a mix up here in defense. And we're lucky that Grant didn't score. And that we're keeping the clean sheet. Vasquez and Huddart don't know what they are up to. Sort of got their some sort of error positioning gone wrong and they've. Uh, Got out, luckily. Grady Dean Garner is going to come off now. And we're actually going to go to attack. Because I want more goals. Because goal difference is going to be crucial. Goal difference is always crucial. Oh, but no, it was too far out for a header, surely. But you never know. John Stone. Huddart's header. It's not going to go out, but knocked around by West Brom and they've got Grant up again. Luckily the Pete Hutter with a good tackle on him. Good, nice and clean tackle. It's a nice one two with Staminak. He needs to get it away so that he can go back and plant defence. And Obafemi's gonna get on to it from Jay De Silva. But no such luck there. The ball hasn't oh the ball did come out and it's just come as what do we got here? No one's making it. Okay, let's um, let's get the boys to fire up. See if that does anything. Ferrin's coming on. Might bring on allowing for Bears kids. Seems to be a bit unmotivated. We'll bring on. Mateus Augusto as well. Because why not? Why not? Matthias. Could just be a 1 0. Pretty boring so far as. I don't like the look of this. West Brom with a corner. Of course, Dan Byrne is going to score. Can't keep a clean sheet. 81st minute as well. Classic. Oh, God. Who was that? Who was that? Fucking Halliday. You bum. Now, oh. now there's nothing. There's not enough time to get another goal. And we've... Oh, we could be getting another one. I don't think so. what Lowen's up to now. What's he doing up to Halliday? Can we get another one? Penalty. Well, we could. Could be a penalty. Last minute penalty for a victory. Last minute three points. How good. Please be a penalty. Penalty. Get in. Who's going to take it? Surely Obafini. Surely big man, Michael. Ma 
Marco Stamenik takes our penalties, and he's done it. He scored. Get in, Marco, you legend. New Zealander gets the winning goal at the Hawthorns for us. Fantastic penalty. I mean, it did come off the bar, but fantastic for us. We come back and we get the result. Not as comfortable as we would have liked. We did need a bit of luck with the penalty, but... It was good. We will need to get better against opposition. Yeah, exactly. That not quite as convinced as some of you seem to be. We carved West Brom open. Yes, but we didn't do it convincingly. Yeah, we did actually. Thanks, Chris Hewton. Surprised he hasn't resigned or retired yet even. How, much, how old must he be in this save? I guess, ah, oh, Chris Hewton's probably not that. Who are we playing West from? Chris Hewton. Oh, 66, he's at, yeah, no. I mean, Roy Hodgson's still in a job, so. Could probably do it to your 80 if you wanted to. I'm sure there's some managers out there that probably have. As we looked about, we've bounced back, which is brilliant. Oh, good. Adam Ida's actually... He's played some games, has he? How many? One. Brilliant. I, I give you him on, on loan for... For nothing. You literally don't pay a cent. And you don't even play him. And he's a... He's a decent striker. Oh, and Peter's... He's 21 now, is he? Wow. Contract. You saw him on a couple of years ago. How many games has he played for us? He's only played fucking eight games. I would have thought he'd done better than that. He is available for the under 20 60 minutes a game. Anyway, that's the uh that's this episode. So we've got I'll play Leicester City off camera. We'll go to the calendar section and we'll see what runs we're gonna bring you back. There's actually not that many games. There's only six games left. Oh, well, oh, okay. Rightio, then. Oh. Season might finish a bit quicker than I thought. I thought there was still a huge... I thought there was still more games to go. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's going to be a quick season. Then I'll play these three off camera, and then we'll bring you back Newcastle, Leeds, and Chelsea in the final three games of the season. See uh, what we can do. Currently 12th. What do we need? Minimum... We need to be minimum 10th, really. And that's achievable. It's five points off. Who is this fella? Olivia, Olivier Diara. And he is the top goal scorer in the league with 16 goals. Obafemi with 15. Is third. How many did he score last season? 13 goals in the Premier League and 15 this season. So he's already got a few better, which is brilliant for us. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.